What do you want to be going to Lourdes for anyway? I always wanted to go there. If you go out that door, don't blame bother coming back. Miracles happen there. He could speak. How are you, Chrissy? My mother is dead. I'm in a place I swore I would never come back to. Hi. I wouldn't have recognized you. 40 years would do that, do you? I'd say, yeah, mixed. Nothing ever happens super quick in Hollywood. So I, I know that you were approached with this story about 15 years ago. Then it was able to come back to you again. Talk to me about, you know, kind of how your Irish roots helped develop the Miracle Club. I, I, I grew up in a very intensely Catholic household, uh, and my my parents were very devoted Catholic. The, my world was a, a Catholic world. Uh, the institutions I attended, whatever they were, uh, were always run by priests or Christian brothers or nuns, whatever. So I think um, that gave me permission to to feel I could, um, and probably better able to do it now. Um, so that just says, uh, you know, older and wiser. So I was probably, uh, and a better filmmaker, uh, probably than I was 15 years ago. All that taken into consideration, I was probably, um, it was a good time uh, to make this film, as well as um, I felt very comfortable making it. Um, I felt it was a world I knew very well. Uh, I left Ireland uh, actually in that period, which is why I wanted to set it there, because it, it was a period that I had taken with me, if you like, and it was interesting to, to treated his memory uh, and and see uh, and put these people into these uh, uh, homes that I knew very well and uh, and and uh, and and uh, and, uh, and uh, examine these characters in that context but obviously to examine their journey it was a I saw it as a kind of a road movie they 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 get they, they leave their home they get going and they and they, and 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 they don't know what's going to happen. They know they're going to go to Lourdes, but they don't know what's going to happen. And uh, it it felt it felt like that making it that it was a kind of a road movie. You know, you're talking about these characters. Their 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 shoes are filled by Maggie Smith, Kathy Bates, Laura Linney, like incredible actresses and talents. Um, what was it like? How did you help direct their performances? Because so many times, like their emotion is felt just through their actions as well, because they're so powerful storytellers. Exactly, you put your finger on it. They're such great storytellers. Uh, um, that's what that's what actors do, but these do it to the power of a thousand. They just, and so we were constantly stripping away lines because, uh, or the actor would say, I, I don't need to say that. And I would agree. Uh, so uh, together, uh, um, so they found, uh, they were so invested in the characters uh, and they had such a, a, an instinct for all the characters that um, they told those characters story because they understood it and they knew how to express it. And, um, they would offer up things to me as well. I would say that I didn't, uh, they would offer up things to me and say, you know, what about this? Would you like this? What about that? Would you like that? And uh, so uh, once we were on the set, and as you say, it took a long time to get this thing uh, made. But uh, once we got on the set, there was the really, the best thing that I could do would be to stand back and let them work uh, um, and not, not get too involved with the, the directing, not be a director. Um, the, the one thing I've learned over the years is that uh, you don't direct, you put things together and then you put the actors in that space and you see what happens. And if it starts to go wrong, you try and put it right. But if it's going right, just, you know, let it go right, let it leave it. I love that. That's such a great philosophy. You're, you're, you're steering the ship in the direction that it needs to go, right? Which well, is I think a lot of directors will say that. Uh, a lot of direct, very, very experienced and very v much wealthier directors than me will say, uh, oh, yeah, I, I don't, you know, I don't do much of that, you know, unless you're James Cameron or something. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. We want to, you know, do absolutely everything. Yeah. 
Yes, yes. Well, okay, and I, I was fascinated to find out that Our Lady of Lourdes is an actual sanctuary in southwestern France, and people go there on pilgrimage um, in hope of miracles and, and healings. And this, I understand, actually has a pretty personal connection to your upbringing. Can you share a little bit about kind of the trek and then how you're related? Well, we we grew up with it. It was uh, it was. Uh, Religious people make pilgrimages, but Catholics go to Lourdes or Fatima or Medjugorje or, or Enoch in the west of Ireland. There's always, we grew up at all these places in our minds that were places of uh, where you went and expressed your faith and, uh, and you went looking for a miracle, maybe. Uh, and uh, so Lourdes was like loom large in uh, our Catholic life. My experience of it, well, I didn't go to Lourdes, but um, my, uh, everybody had somebody in their family who went there for some reason and my mother and father went there and the reason they went there was because my father had been very very ill and my mother had prayed and he had got better and and she had prayed to our lady on on his behalf on her behalf praying for him so he got better and she decided i'm going to go to lourdes and we're going to say thanks we're going to go to lourdes and express our our joy and our thanks because our prayers were answered. So I wouldn't talk about a miracle. She never mentioned a miracle, but she, but she would talk about uh, that she, uh, the prayer. She would talk about, um, uh, we prayed and uh, he got better. And so I went to say, thank you. And uh, that's what they did. So they just went to pray and just be around and, and uh, be, be inspired by their spirituality all around them. I, lo I love that. So then when you're, you know, showcasing this on screen, what for you is the most meaningful part of capturing for that pilgrimage to Lourdes? Was it more the atmosphere or was it more like individual personal um, respects? Because each of the women had very different reasons for wanting to go, but it was so important and so personal to them. They didn't really know the reasons they went until they got there, you know, until Laura Linney character uh, starts to, you know, stir things up. And, uh, and uh, then the, the miracle begins to emerge out of the mist. But in answer to your question, the idea of, the, it's the, the idea of Lourdes is a, an extraordinary thing for people who go there, because uh, in both believers and non-believers, it is a very spiritual experience, but particularly interesting, I think, for non-believers, because so when they go there, uh, the people I've spoken to find that um, uh, they, what people have called the Lourdes effect, the sheer fact of being there uh, puts you in touch with uh, with with something that uh, is surprising. The spiritual moment that you you have, or that you engage with, or something that something in your life that becomes a bit more meaningful, just by being among all these people who are expressing all this spiritual, who are engaging with the the world. So so spiritually so uh the lurid effect is the the lurid effect is uh, so called um not about miracles it's about uh people being together in the in the spirit of that that communal spirit and engaging with their with their with their religion, with their, but also engaging with themselves, with their spirituality. Thank you so much for taking the time today. And I love that the movie, you know, is able to showcase compassion and showcase forgiveness and showcase yeah. healing, but all in such um, an experiential way versus just being told that these things all happen in life. So thank you for that. You're welcome. I can't wait for audience to see it. I think I had me a miracle. What? Oh. I actually missed you.